everyone we are jumping right into it today getting right to what we're cooking um and i have here <clears throat> this morning we are well today this afternoon whatever we are cooking um seafood alfredo seafood alfredo so um uh should i call it alfredo seafood pasta whatever y'all know me whatever the title is child so all right what we're doing today i have some Mueller spaghetti pasta <clears throat> and I have some Mary B's, <clears throat> excuse me, I have some Mary B's biscuit, buttermilk biscuits. All right, and I have two jars of the Bertoli. Y'all know I love Bertoli. Got two jars of the Bertoli Alfredo sauce. And I have some lobster tails here. It's about four small lobster tails, all diced and chopped up. Smells yummy. And of course, can't have seafood pasta without my favorite shrimp. And as you can see with the shrimp, it's a full bag of shrimp, the public shrimp, and I chopped them up into little cubes. Not tiny, but small cubes, you know, to go in the pasta. So we've got our seafood pasta. We are getting ready to cook it up. As you guys can see, these easy, and we're gonna have, you know, the biscuits. I'm gonna make my little um garlic sauce to put over the top of the biscuits <clears throat> which is basically all i do is melt butter and i put a little garlic uh salt seasoning in the butter and then i just uh put it across the biscuits guys so quick and easy today but yet a wonderful delicious meal i've got my oven already preheated waiting for those biscuits you guys see i've got my water back there boiling yes i am ready to get into it today ready so, I've got my pan here, ready for my biscuits. I'm sure you guys can see that. Yep, got my pan ready. Go ahead and lay these biscuits out. I love these Miss B's biscuits. They've become one of my favorites now. Like little frozen biscuits, and they rise. Not high, high, but a little higher than this. I think that is awesome. You want biscuits, you get you some Miss B's biscuits. <clears throat> get you some Miss B's biscuits, and that's it. Voila! Throw them on the pan <clears throat> and they cook 20 minutes. They'll be cooked. So let me get these in the oven. My oven is already ready already. Put my timer on 20 minutes. Uh, 22 minutes. It says 20 minutes, but it took when I every time I cook them, it's 22 minutes in my oven. So I've got the oven pre uh, set to 22 minutes for the timer. All right, okay, so we got our pot water getting ready to boil back there. Let's get our spaghetti open so we can get our spaghetti in there. And just so you guys know, I will be breaking my spaghettis in half. I like doing that when it comes to the pasta, and it's easier for the girls to eat, easier for me to eat. I just like breaking the pasta in half sometimes it depends on what you're what i'm cooking um anytime i'm putting like a meat or something in the pasta uh, i do like to break the pasta in half sometimes sometimes i do sometimes i don't that's just how it is as a cook sometimes you do sometimes you don't but i've got my water back here getting ready to start boiling so i'm gonna go ahead and add my spaghetti noodles i will be cooking the full box Let me get this pasta ready. Break my pasta in half. And I lay my pasta one way and then I lay the next layer one way and I just kind of switch it up like that. That's how I put my pasta in. So no pasta is getting stuck together. So let me get the rest of this pasta in here. Like I said, I'm breaking it in half. I lay one, one uh, handful one way and lay one the other way. That's a good way to keep your pasta from um, sticking together. And then I just kind of stir it up. Just stir it up so nobody's sticking together. And I did put two tablespoons of oil in my uh, water. Two tablespoons of oil in my water to get that going. All 
right. Let these noodles get to boiling back here. Does not take spaghetti long to cook. So I make sure all my pasta separated. Make sure everybody's separated. Nobody's sticking together in there. So I make sure all that is, all my pasta separated. Cause y'all know pasta, especially spaghetti, loves to stick together. So I always stir my pasta up. Always do that to make sure it's all separated. Nobody's trying to be a clunk. A clunk of spaghetti. I hate that. So make sure my spaghetti's all separated. All right, that's looking good in there. Okay. All right, let's get everybody get it to boiling. Okay, so that spaghetti is gonna do what it do back there. Do what it do. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let that spaghetti uh, get cooked, guys. Let me take y'all over to the spaghetti. I'm gonna go ahead and let that spaghetti get cooked. And um, for this seafood Alfredo, um, I chose the spaghetti noodles. My daughter uh, likes the spaghetti noodles. So I chose to go with the spaghetti noodles for her for this one since she loves Alfredo. My daughter always wants me to cook Alfredo. I said, I'll cook Alfredo, but this time I'm gonna add some seafood to it. Uh, but I will have to make a separate pot for her because uh, she doesn't do, she can't do the whole lobster shellfish thing. So I'll make a separate uh, pot for her as far as that. I'll go ahead and add the shrimp uh, to the pasta and the Alfredo sauce. And then um, I make a little, you know, put a little bit aside for her. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the lobster. So I need to make sure I remember to do that. Cause you know, I get to cooking and I be forgetting. So, all right, let's go ahead and let this pasta cook up. Um, and then when I come back, we'll go ahead and make the Alfredo. I am back, I am getting ready. I've drained my pasta. And as you guys can see, it's still nice and hot. So, we've got our pasta here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and add one jar of the Alfredo sauce. Go ahead and do that. Put a little water in my jar so I can get all my stuff that I paid for. Yes. Put a little hot water in there. Shake it up a little bit. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Make sure I get all my stuff, all my stuff, all my stuff. Pour it around. Got one jar in there. Let's go ahead and get this mixed up. Get my heat on. Heat. Pasta looking good. Let's get that all mixed up. Slowly get that together. Now my shrimp is already pre-cooked. I bought it already cooked. I just took the tail off. It's already cooked. The lobster, I'm not gonna cook it because once I put it in this hot pasta, it's it's thin lobster. It's gonna cook quick. I mean, we know how seafood is. So once I add the seafood to the pasta, the um, lobster will go ahead and cook itself. And you guys will see that. You guys will see that right away. So we've got one jar of the pasta Alfredo sauce in there. And as you guys can see, I like my pasta, uh, we like our pasta, you know, with extra Alfredo sauce in it. I, I don't like dry pasta. You know, we don't like, when I say I, I mean we, you know, I'm speaking for the house. We don't, um, we don't like the dry pasta. We like for our pasta to be extra. So I always get two jars of Alfredo, always. Especially with me cooking a whole box of pasta. Yeah. I'm gonna need a whole two bottles of Alfredo. So, get that all mixed up. Got that all done. Okay, so we got our two jars in here. Two jars of Alfredo sauce. Looking good, looking good. I've got the stove on a low, high heat. Get that all mixed up. Yeah, that's how I like it. All nice and saucy. Yes, yeah, so you gotta remember, we still gotta add the shrimp and lobster, so. 
still got to do all that. And let me tell you, I seasoned my shrimp, lightly seasoned them because I didn't want it too salty with this Alfredo. Your Alfredo sauce already has seasonings, you know? So I just uh, put a little Old Bay, because he a Old Bay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, so I put a little Old Bay and a little parsley. That's all I um, seasoned my shrimp with. That's all. Let me taste this Alfredo. Yeah, see? That Alfredo already seasoned, has its own salt. You don't want to do too much. Okay, so we got both things of Alfredo in there. So let's go ahead and add our shrimp. And sometimes, sometimes you guys have seen, I cooked on my channel, where I keep the shrimp whole. But today, I cut it up because sometimes I do. Sometimes I do um, cut my shrimp up. Sometimes I do. So let me zoom y'all in because y'all know how I do. I put y'all in the business, the cooking business, not my business, the cooking business. So starting to get a little hot there. All right, that heat is starting to get worked up. And like I said, I just put Old Bay. Let me cut my heat down. I just put Old Bay and uh, parsley on the shrimp. Don't want to put too much because, like I said, your Alfredo sauce already has its seasoning, already has its flavor. So, we're going to mix this up real good. I'm going to set some aside for little mama. Set her a nice bowl size over, you know, in case you want her to want to have seconds and stuff. So, before I add the lobster to this. So, let me go ahead and get this all mixed up. Oh, looking good, looking good. Let me make sure y'all can see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking good. I love Alfredo. We love Alfredo. I'm always cooking Alfredo. We love Alfredo. And I know y'all may see a lot of cooking videos on my channel, and y'all think I cook. Um, I do cook a lot. I, I do. I do cook a lot. But every time I cook, I don't film. No, I ain't got time for that. So, <laughs> but yeah. I've always loved cooking. I haven't always known how to cook everything, believe it or not, y'all. I haven't always, you know, I learned. You know, following people online, looking online on YouTube and the cooking channel. I'm telling you, as a kid and growing up, I always looked at the cooking channel. I would cut the cooking channel on and be looking at the cooking channel all day. So I've always loved cooking. Because my TV would stay in the cooking channel all day, all night. I wake up and my TV would still be on the cooking channel. So, I've always had a love of cooking. So, look at that. That looks good. Look at those shrimp. Oh, yeah. That looks good. So, I'm going to go ahead, set some aside for little mama real quick. Let me put her some to the side. She can have her own. Put some to the side for little mama. Because she cannot do the shellfish. Any type of like lobster, crab. She can't really do that. So that's enough for her to have several servings. Put that to the side for her. Now we're going to add the lobster. <clears throat> add our lobster pieces here. Go ahead and get that lobster in there. All right. Okay. So now you guys see we've got our lobster pieces in there. Let me see. Okay, good. You guys can see. All right. Got our lobster pieces in there. I'm going to go ahead and I'll leave my heat on. Let me get the lobster mixed in first. And then I'm going to cut my heat off. Because I want to make sure my lobster gets nice and pink before I cut the heat off. Like I said, the hot sauce, the hot Alfredo sauce, the hot noodles will definitely um, cook that lobster right on up. It doesn't take much. And as you guys can see, it was thin pieces of lobster, little small pieces. Go ahead and get that all mixed up. Oh, it smells so good with the shrimp, the lobster, and the Alfredo sauce. Oh, it looks so good. Looks so good. Smells so good. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm tossing it around so the heat can cook the lobster. Cause it's not gonna take much. Not gonna take much to cook that lobster. 
get it all mixed up real good oh yeah that's looking good that lobster's turning pink as you guys can see lobster's turning pink already looking good i love the color of lobster so pretty all right y'all i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this mixed up and i will be back with the grand finale and for our grand finale we have our seafood alfredo here looking delicious we've got our shrimp and lobster in there looks amazing tastes amazing because yes y'all know i had to taste it <laughs> anyway all right and over here to our le biscuits the le biscuits yes they are nice i melted some butter put a little garlic pepper in the butter just to give it that garlic flavor and yes i laid the butter over to brush the butter on top of the biscuits and y'all know y'all see parsley child y'all see him he is the star of the show he is the star of the show y'all I don't stop fighting with Parsley Chai. He is the star of the show. See, sometimes you just gotta stop fighting. Certain certain things now. Don't don't twist my words now. Sometimes you just some things you just don't fight. Just you know what? Leave it all in God's hand. Cause God can do far better than we can, child. Word of the day. Leave it in God's hand. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Vengeance is mine. So let God deal with it. Don't even try to fight it, child. Don't even deal with it. Put it in God's hand. He can do far better than we can. So, yep. I done stopped fighting with Pastor Child and put him in God's hand. <laughs> all right, y'all. Y'all see the biscuits? They looking all buttery and they got their parsley. They looking good, y'all. Yes, everything looks delicious. Our biscuits are nice and golden brown over there. And our seafood Alfredo. Take y'all in one more time. Y'all see me do it. So, you know I did it. All right. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha, guys. And don't forget, knowledge, oh yes, is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.